little bit of pit bull fireball this morning. Maybe out there you're trying to get to the gym right now. and Maybe you're working out right now. We have Kathleen with us this morning. It's Kathleen Trotter. And you write for the Globe. You're a fitness and nutrition expert. And right now we're going to talk about how busy we are. Oh, we're all so busy, I know. And, and how do we make the fitness and yeah. nutrition a reality? Well, you know, we all have the best intentions. Everyone's like, oh, I want to get fit in 2015. But people do what I call making fitness wishes versus making fitness goals. You know, they say, oh, I'm going to get fit, but they don't right. take the time to plan it, putting it in their schedule, making, you know, a date with a fitness buddy. Um, and for me, it's all about that planning in advance to make it a reality. So and planning I, in advance, you have to say, prepare your kitchen one hour a week, yeah. take the time to prepare your fridge. Yeah, it really doesn't take very long. You know, you can cut up some chicken, you can have some beans, some veggies. And that way, a healthy option is less time than a microwave pizza, right? And that's the whole thing. you got to make it easy because we're all so busy. Yeah, so when we come home, we open the fridge, yeah. we see the cut-up vegetables, we use those Absolutely. instead of going to the pantry and taking starving, the chips. you just grab everything, right? So right. you want to make this really accessible. And then yeah. how about if I'm out for lunch? I know, and that's hard, right? And there's hard, so many right? different options it now, totally so many is. different uh, fast food options. I know. So yeah. I brought with me today a burrito. I actually love burritos because you got all these healthy options in the burrito, all the but food, the chicken. They look so big and they look so fat. I know, but they do. listen, they got chicken or you can get fish. And so the burrito I have here is from Casada, which okay. is a restaurant chain, and I just love it. We got a chicken, we got a, a tilapia, and all of the nutritional information is online at casada.ca. So the mm -hmm. trick is with anything, right? You got to be mindful. No matter where you're going, even if you have a healthy option, you got to be mindful. So pick the salsa, mm -hmm. low calorie, really high, I like all this the sour fresh. Cream, no. no, I'm sorry. Oh. I mean, you can have a little bit, anything okay. in moderation, but really, honestly, things like salsas, fresh veg. Um, I really tell my clients, you know, even if you're going somewhere healthy like Casada, cut up a burrito, have two thirds of it for lunch, okay. and then have some veggies with it. And then around three, four o'clock, when you're really, you know, you're peckish again, or you're bored, and you just want something to eat, have a big glass of water and have the rest of the burrito couple more veg and then when you go to the gym you'll have tons of options uh, tons, tons of energy and most more importantly when you get home at night you're not going to be starving because you won't have eaten would have waited eight hours in between your meals is water that important oh, water is so important I think for me you know I do a lot of running and biking I often mistake my uh, thirst for hunger so that's really important for me and I also if I really want to eat something like I want to treat at night mm -hmm. I tell myself I have to wait 30 minutes and I have a big glass of water and normally after the water I'm fine I usually have tea. I like tea. Yeah, at night. perfect. Same idea. Yeah. So then this is the portability at work. Yes, I love. So a lot of my clients they have nut butters at work or almonds. You just got to make sure they're not salted, they're not roasted. Mm -hmm. But you know, six or twelve almonds and an apple, awesome snack. Really good, really portable on the go. So if you're going to a meeting, you can just grab it. Um, I love eggs as well. Again, you know, it's just protein, carbs. It's really easy, and it'll give you lots of energy. And then you don't have to go to the chips. You don't have to go to the chocolate bar because it's actually quite tasty. I mean, I love an almond butter and an apple. Like, mm, mm -hmm. that's such a good snack. So just with the almond butter, what, what we just what do we put it on? Do we put it on toast? Like, well, oh no, yeah. I put it on my apple. You put it right on your yeah. apple. Oh my God, you've never tried it. It's no. so good. So cut up the apple and okay. you just take a you know about a tablespoon of almond butter and you right. just smear it on and you eat it. Oh. Like crunch. And could you do that with celery as well? You totally could. I don't like celery very much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but if you like celery, you yeah. totally could. Yeah, for sure. So and you you write uh, for the Global Mail, yeah. of course, uh, and then also you do some videos on the Global Mail as well. I do. Yeah, fitness and health. You know, I was sort of a chubby teenager, and fitness and health changed my life. And it's, I really feel that health and wellness and being active has the power to be you know, energizing and empowering and exhilarating, and I want that for everybody. Yeah, often people say nothing feels as good as what fit feels. Oh, I've never heard that. I'm going to have to, can I steal that? You can steal that. You can steal that, of course. Uh, and if you want more information, you can go to KathleenTrotter.com or at <laughs> Kathleen Trotter Fitness. Did you see that yeah, graph? That was pretty it. good. Yeah, it's good. I'm going to take this apple. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. And there's scientific truth to that, by the way. I'm going to take a break right now from Breakfast Television.